What's up, y'all? What's up? And welcome back to Cigar Lifestyles and Reviews with your host with the most, the Cigar Sommelier, Enoch, the Cigar Emperor. And today, man, guess what? And by the way, I'm a Cigar Sommelier, for those who wanted to know. Um, this right here, man, um, is a cigar I've hesitated on getting. And not because I'm not a big Metallica fan, because I love Metallica. I grew up in the 80s, listened to real rock. Uh, classic rock and James Hetfield is a part of this cigar. This is by Drew Estate. This is called The Blacken. And this is a collaboration. It's called the M81 Maduro, by the way. Uh, you see that band says M81 Maduro to the core, whatever that means. Drew Estate. Okay, but it's a nice dark Maduro wrapper, man. And it's Mexican San Andreas, the wrapper. The, the binder is from the Connecticut Indus Valley, Connecticut Broadleaf. And the filler is mixed, man. It's American filler from Pennsylvania and uh, Nicaraguan. Pretty, pretty interesting uh, mix of leaves here. But it's beautiful, man. Look how pretty this is. That is beautiful. Nice, good farm smell. Almost Cuban farm smell. That is nice, man. But uh, this was a collaboration between, of course, Jonathan Drew of Drew Estate. And I like Drew Estate cigars, uh, except the flavor ones. But... Uh, it was a collaboration of uh, John Jonathan Drew of Drew Estate, James Hetfield of, of, of the legendary band Metallica, and uh, from Black and Whiskey. The guy from Black and Whiskey is, uh, is Pickerell was the one was the original one, David Pickerell, but he died. He passed away because David Pickerell was the original master stiller of Black and Whiskey, but then he passed away. So James Hetfield uh, hooked up with Dietrich, a guy named Dietrich. Uh, I think Mark Dietrich, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, but those are the three who came in on it. So Black and is basically the name of the whiskey. Those who never, I've had Black and Whiskey, by the way. Uh, and I listen to Metallica, so it's a good mix. But hopefully it's a good smoke, man. This is the Toro. You have the Robusto, and I think you have a couple of more other Vitolos. But this is the Toro, six inches long, 52 ring gauge, man. So since I'm wasting too much more time, Let's see what uh let's see what James Hetfield and Jonathan Drew and Mr. Dietrich talking about, man. We're about to see. Definitely take this off. It's beautiful. I like the look for man. Like a like nice looks like rose gold M81 Maduro to the core. I like that. But let me get that on off before I burn it. Ultra tastes like some cocoa puffs, chocolatey. Nice cold draw, but the cold draw don't mean nothing when you light it up because you get a totally taste. I just love doing a cold draw. It's a good ritual I learned over 30 years ago. And sometimes, small percentage of the times, the cold draw, after you light your tobacco, you get some of those same tastes sometimes. Depends on your blend, depends on your cigar, depends on the time of year. Let's get to it, man. It's good and toasty. Let's go. And people, we are off. With the Drew Estate Blackened. M81 Maduro to the core. That's what they call it. Man. That's got a nice bourbon taste to it. Caramelly. What is that, man? Actually, it tastes like some whiskey, honestly. But it's not infused. It's pretty good taste, man. The draw is nice. Lots of smoke output. I love it. 
Nice cigar, nice burn so far. I'm getting some, getting like some nice woody notes. Raisin and some and some raisin, like some nice raisin flavor. I'm getting some nice burnt wood and raisin on the palate. Pretty good. The retro hell is a nice smooth spice. Retro hell is nice. Some wood on the spice on, on the uh wood and black pepper on the retro hell as well. Hmm. So far, so good, man, with this drill stay blacking, man. So far, so good, man, but we won't judge it right now in this first third, man, but I'll see y'all in a second. So I'm in the second third. You can see the sun is coming down on me. I'm just taking my time smoking this blackened by drill stay. I think I already told y'all this is a Toro, by the way. Uh, like, I, you know, usually I don't get off into the celebrities when celebrities get their own line of cigar because usually it's garbage i'm just keeping it real probably 95 percent of most lines that come from got a celebrity name on it it is pure garbage because most time they don't know nothing about cigars i mean somebody maybe like honest schwarzenegger somebody would come with a cigar i'm sure it would be good but most of the cigars that come from celebrity lines is garbage but i'm gonna tell you something this one here is not it's pretty good it's not that bad I'm not going to give it a high, high score, but it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all, man. Look at that burn. Beautiful burn, man. I'm still getting a lot of wood. Wood taste. The raisins kind of went away. The uh, retro hell is still there. still peppery. Nice wood and peppery. So, man, you know, we're going to see how this thing in, man. I'm about to cut on my light in a minute. Consistent burn. It was definitely wrapped right. Definitely put together beautifully. So I'll see y'all in the last third, man. Oh, I'm pairing with some zero coke. Oh, so I'm in the last third, man. This black and M81 by Drew Estate. A lot of the taste now, and you see that ash, man, still going strong. I haven't even taken off the last man yet, but I'm about to. Oh, still going strong. But it's the, the flavors have waned a little bit. The strength is still there. But the flavors kind of went out the door. But it's still okay. I, I'll still give it a good grade, at least an 88. Out of 100. It's not bad. The draw has been impeccable the whole way. Uh, like I said, the taste has waned a little bit in this last third. Seems like I'm just getting straight uh, lit tobacco notes now, but that's okay. It's okay. First and second third was pretty good, especially the first third. First third was basically better than the second third. So this is not a bad cigar by Drill State, man, if y'all haven't tried it. Once again, this is the Drew Estate Black and M81, and I thank y'all for joining me in this review. I'm Enoch the Cigar Emperor. I'm going to finish this off and crank up another cigar. I don't know what I'm going to smoke, but I'm not done for the night. Um, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day or night or whenever y'all review this video. And I'll uh, see y'all on the next one, man. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and hit the like button. It helps my algorithm a lot. Thank y'all, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.